my channel today I'm gonna be creating this slay your first date makeup look I hope you guys enjoy it honestly I started this tutorial with mm, let me see what I'm gonna create and then it reminded me of when I used to go to middle school and I used to always rock a brown smoky eye so then I decided hey I'm just gonna recreate that so so this is basically uh, how I used to do my makeup when I used to go to school but at the same time you're gonna slay your first day of school if you do this look so I hope you guys enjoy if you are new to my channel hi my name is Glam Rosa welcome to my channel please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be, so you can be notified whenever I upload a video and you can be part of this glam fam. And now let's get started with this makeup look. Hey guys, yes, that was a must on my routine it was so I already moisturized and primed my face I used Lubaderm moisturizer <laughs> I had a hair on it I used a Lubaderm moisturizer to moisturize my face because I want my makeup to go on flawlessly and my skin to look very nice throughout the day and I used a Smashbox photo finish primer so my makeup is staying on all day, it's not going to move, it's not going to slip around. And also just to give me a very nice, smooth, flawlessly looking surface on my skin for my foundation to be on, you know? Jumping straight to foundation, I'm going to be using CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. This is actually my first time using it, so let's hope I pick the right color and it looks very nice for this look. I'm going to be using my Real Technique sponge to be blending this into my skin. Okay. I think this does match me, kind of. Oh my god, look at the coverage on this. Yes. This is what I'm talking about. Alright, there we go. This is one layer. I still have some on the back of my hand. And honestly, this looks very nice. I am in love with how it looks. Right now, I would say I have a medium coverage. But I am going to do another layer just to see if I can build it up to a more full coverage look. But so far, this applied and blended into my skin. Really nice. I am actually a fan of this foundation already and this is actually my first time using covergirl foundations so hey covergirl one more time there we go you guys this is a second layer and i am in love with how this looks it truly looks like skin it's not so dewy, it's not so matte, it's just, it's perfect. I, I am a fan. Now I'm just going to see how this wears throughout the day. If you have me in Snapchat, I am going to let you guys know. So you probably saw the Snapchat by now. So, you know, this foundation I was talking about. Yes, ma'am. Alright, let's move on to concealing these dark circles. For my under eyes and just to bring more light to my face, I'm going to be using Urban Decay Neck and Skin weightless concealer I'm going to be applying this to my under eyes, my forehead, down the bridge of my nose and my chin I'm blending that out with my Real Technique sponge also There we go, voila. Now I'm also gonna be putting this to my eyelids. This is gonna help 
as a primer for my shadow to stay on all day. Now to set my under eye and make sure that doesn't move at all, I'm going to be using Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm going to be using my Rose Technique sponge to pick that up with and I'm going to be pushing in the powder under my eyes. I do not bake my under eyes because it just creases me up and it just does not work for me. So if you find that when you bake it creases, use this method and just push in the powder under your eye and honestly only the camera can pick it up already. It gives me a very nice flawless surface under my eye and I dig that. I am going to be baking my nose because I am super oily and I need to control that and the longer I keep it on my nose the less oily, the less oilier I am throughout the day <laughs> I look so silly every time I do this whatever is left on the sponge I am going to be setting my eyelids with it now for the rest of my face, I am going to be using CoverGirl Clean and Matte. I love this powder to set my face because it always keeps me looking very flawless throughout the day. So I am actually very excited to be using this powder with this foundation because you know CoverGirl, CoverGirl, it should be a very good outcome, right? I'm excited to find out. I will let you guys know. Picking up my Sigma F30 brush, I am going to be using it to push this into my skin. All done. You guys, my skin looks so nice. <laughs> my kid did naturally look like that. <laughs> now, I know this is for school, but I have to be you know I gotta look good anywhere that I go so I am gonna be carving my face you know I gotta give my face some dimension I don't want to look like a potato I don't want to let them know that during the summer all I did was eat so I'm gonna be using a Milani bronzer to you know give myself a little bronze because I'm gonna pretend I went to the beach which I didn't and you know give myself some cheekbones because I don't see them. Do you guys see them? I don't see them, but I'm going to give me some. And to make it easier on that first day of school, I'm going to be using this one because it has two, the two colors. It has both of the colors right next to each other, so all I have to do is pick up my brush. Uh-oh, this way. Pick up my brush and do it. Just go right in the middle. You know, just go in. Just a very light wash. Now, if you want to go all out and you know give you a very nice sharp contour, you do you, girl. But you know, I'm just gonna do me a little light wash. Now I'm gonna hit this double chin. Now we gotta make it disappear. Hit the temples. You know, I got some sun this summer. There we go. Now we got some definition going on, you know? No, 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 no. Alright, now for highlights. I am going to be using Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. This is the bomb. If you guys have not tried it yet or bought it, you need to get your hands on it. This is, this is amazing. Well, as you guys can see, look at my shoulders. <laughs> So I'm not going to go all out and, you know, blind bitches left and right. So I'm, I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be nice the first day of school. And I'm going to, you know, just put a little bit on. Like that. Put a little bit above my brow. Even though I don't got none on right now. <laughs> I'm going to put some on my cubits bow. Now, now I'm going to take this off really quickly. You know, I got to 
I gotta somewhat snatch my nose. So I'm gonna go back into that bronzer. I'm gonna pick up the darker shade and I'm gonna go right at the bottom of my nose. Oh my god, I can never open this. There you go. Now, I'm gonna quickly highlight my nose also. I'm gonna do the tip. All right, there we go. Now we have our base on. We're nice and snatched and glowy and looking glam so far. So now I'm gonna put on some eyebrows. Honestly, if it was my first day of school, I would wake up an hour earlier because I want to look good and I want these eyebrows to be, you know, nice and sharp and perfect. But if you're in a hurry because you woke up late, <laughs> just grab powder and just fill in your natural brows and, you know, just do a natural brow. But I am extra, so I'm going to do a very nice sharp brow, but I'm going to do that off camera and I'll be right back with nice brows. Be back. There we go. We're back and we have two eyebrows. I hope they're twins. I always aim to have twins. <laughs> So now moving on to the eyes, the font part, I'm going to be using Tarte's Pro Palette. Now I'm going to keep this eye look very simple for you guys and, and among the colors that everybody should have. So right now all I'm doing is applying a white shadow to my brow bone. I, I always do this. So I'm going to use colors that everybody has and feels more comfortable using. So I'm going to be using this orangey shade for my crease because I really love how a warm crease looks. If you don't like an orangey crease, like a warm look um, shadow, go ahead and pick up like a very light brown and use that as your transition color. I always like making my eyes appear bigger, appear bigger than they are, so I always go in and all the way out. There we go, you guys. Now we have a very nice, smoky, warm crease. This is why I use this color. The reason I went ahead and picked this warm shade is because no matter what lid color you decide to use, it's going to complement. It's going to look very nice on you no matter what complexion you are and also whatever eye color you have. It's just going to bring out your eyes and it's going to look really nice. So now you can go ahead and pick up any lid color that you will feel comfortable using on your first day of school because with this warm crease that we have going on it's just gonna go so well I'm gonna go ahead and use a brown it just brings me back to my middle school days when I used to be in middle school I used to always do a brown smoky eye so if you know me from middle school you probably remember that I used to use a brown smoky eye all the time but you know I will always switch it up and do crazy looks so I'm just gonna use this brown and put it all over my lid there we go now that we have the brown down i'm gonna go back in with that whimsy color the orangey color with that first brush that we use and i'm gonna go right in my crease right where the brown and the my crease meets just to blend those two colors together and i'm also gonna be somewhat bringing out the brown a little bit more outwards by dragging it dragging it out with my brush so just like that there we go you're probably wondering to yourself right now this girl really did a brown smoky eye for the first day of school <laughs> yes i did yes i did 
<laughs> it's so crazy to actually think about it because I used to really rock this look a lot when I was going to school. Like, a lot. And even, like, on my first day of school, I used to go all out. Like, I used to just do it, whatever the hell I felt like doing, I will always do it. I was never actually really shy about using makeup. If that's how I felt like doing it that day, I will do it. And, yeah, so... This is probably out of your comfort zone. Most of you probably already clipped off. You're like, hell no. <laughs> but, you know, if you really don't care about what people say, you know, just do you. Be happy. Go all out, you know. Now, for the bottom lash, I'm going to be pretty much doing the same thing that I did to my eyelid. I'm going to be using Whimsy and Smoke just a little bit, but more Whimsy. So... First, this is Whimsy, and I'm gonna smoke my bottom lash with it. There we go, now that I used that Whimsy color, I'm gonna go in with Smoked with the brown shade, and I'm gonna put this as close to my lash, but I'm just gonna go halfway. So I'm gonna stop right there and just smoke out the end. Alright, now that we're done with that, I'm going to go back in with my highlighter, the Maybelline Master Prime. Oh my god, I always struggle to open this. There we go. And I'm going to pick up a pencil brush and I'm going to be highlighting my inner corner. And my brow bone. Now the look is complete. You can go ahead and put mascara on and your gloss and just walk out the door. But I'm going to be doing a wing liner because I'm extra. I'm going to be using Wet n Wild Mega Liner. Liner. Alright, there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some mascara on for lashes. You really don't have to wear lashes on your first day of school. You know, just load up on mascara now that I'm done applying mascara we're completely done unless you want to put some lashes on then go ahead I'm actually gonna be doing some just because I believe it completes the look but when I used to go to school I didn't wear lashes back then I just learned how to apply lashes actually so I'm going to be applying this one. This one's are from Allure in the name Opulent. I am obsessed with these lashes. They're so lightweight and they're just very long and wispy. But they're not like super over the top to where it makes you look like you have, you know, caterpillar lashes. They just look really nice. So I'm going to pop these on really quickly. Alright, there we go. You guys I have my lashes on. I really think it makes a big difference. So now for lips, I'm going to be using a gloss. This is Vivid Hot Lacquer Gloss. I am loving these glosses. They feel so comfortable throughout the day, so I am in love. It looks like a it's a, it looks like a pink, but in person, if you were to look at it, it's a nude. It's a nude pink, but with an undertone of brown, so it looks really nice. Alright you guys, this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. This is my slay, your first day of school. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Let me comment down below. I'll be replying back to you guys. And I'll be catching you guys in my next video. And if you want to see more looks of me, just click on this video that I'm putting right here. And I hope you enjoy. Bye!